to me, it's the heart of District 21, so it, there's no other place to be. In the Beachmont neighborhood, he had a heart of gold. Blue is the color of heartache. Our city will always be there for his family. But it's also a symbol of strength. He inspired so many people to go out and do something great. This was fallen LMPD officer Nick Rodman's neighborhood. And I think Nick would be very happy to see this right here in front of a library that's right in the heart of Beachmont, where he and his sister Carly and his brother Andy all grew up together. This marble bench was the idea of Susie Keel. I mean, everyone just wants to do whatever they can to help the family honor Nick. Rodman was killed during a car chase last March. Keel never met him, but his story stuck with her. She helped design the bench with help from Rodman's wife. It features images of Holy Cross, U of L, and an LMPD badge. Saturday, the bench was dedicated in front of Rodman's family, friends, and community members. To be able to have um, this type of monument in the neighborhood where Nick grew up, I just I know it means a lot to his family and it means a lot to the rest of us. It's a simple gesture that Keel and others hope shows the lasting impact of Rodman's life. Uh, the work he did here in our community to keep our citizens safe. Uh, so they could go about their lives uh, is legendary. And his legacy will always live on, I think. Susie Keel also worked with Metro Council to get the funding for that bench. We are told a part of 29th Street will also be renamed after Officer Rodman.